Hello and welcome to House of Commerce. It's been so long that I made a video uh, for you guys and the video was being uploaded of other teachers but now I'm back on track and you guys will receive the videos on regular basis. So before starting the video you got to subscribe the channel and you got to turn on the notification bell so that you may not miss a single notification from our channel. Let's move forward to the video. So in today's video we are going to discuss about the multiple choice questions of depreciation as we have uploaded many of the lectures regarding depreciation so you can watch on the above i tab which is being shown on the screen so in this video we will discuss at least 15 mcqs related to depreciation so whosoever knows about this topic he can watch the video and he can test his knowledge about the depreciation so the number one question we have the estimated selling price of a fixed asset after its useful life is known as a cost value b salvage value c depreciable cost and d none of the above so read these four options and just get to know your answer because the answer we are going to show you and then we'll tell you the reasons the why it is so so the right answer is the salvage value because the cost value means the initial cost at which the asset was realized in the company's books and the depreciable cost is that cost which is to be depreciated over the total useful life of the asset and our question was saying that the estimated selling price of a fixed asset after its useful life means at the end of its life so the end of its life whatever value is left over it is called the salvage value on number second we have the correct formula to find out the depreciable cost of a fixed asset is cost minus salvage value cost plus salvage value cost minus market value and cost minus accumulated depreciation now you got to think about it for a while that what is the correct answer and we are going to show you the worst correct answer so the right answer is cost minus salvage value why it is so because in option B we are as we see that cost plus salvage value as the salvage value is the part of the cost and the cost which is left over at the end of total useful life so we cannot add it again into the cost so option B cannot be correct and cost minus market value so we are not calculating the profit we are calculating the depreciable cost therefore the option C is not right as well then on at option D you can see cost minus accumulated depreciation so cost minus accumulated depreciation means the book value which is to be realized in to the company's books so this cannot also be the depreciable cost formula so the right answer is cost minus salvage value why is so because the salvage value has to be left over has to be remain at the end of the total useful life therefore we cannot depreciate it so by deducting it from the cost the leftover shall be depreciated over the total useful life of the asset on number three we have fixed installment method as another name of reducing balance method b sum of the year digit method c straight line method and d working hour method let me tell you one thing that we have explained all these methods in another video and we have given the option of that video in our description as well so go there open the link and you can watch the whole lecture about it but now let's move forward to the answer so the correct answer is a straight line method why is so because an at option A we can see reducing balance method so as we all know that reducing balance method means the depreciation expense is reduced at every subsequent year then the sum of year digit method in this method as the years are reduced therefore the depreciation expense does not remain same if the depreciation expense at the end of fifth year is different from the depreciation expense at the end of fourth year because the 
there is a number difference between the formula. Then, working our method, as we know that it is based upon the machine working hours. So it is not necessary that machine has worked on constant basis every year. Therefore, the depreciation expense shall be changed. But in a straight line method, the depreciation expense remains the same every year until and unless the months are not changed. So number four, under reducing balance method, depreciation is always cal calculated on which one of the following value of asset. Market value, then B. Cost value, C. Book value, and D. Salvage value. Let's move forward to the answer. So the correct answer is book value. Why? Because in market value, we do not calculate the depreciation. On cost value, we always calculate the depreciation when the salvage value is zero under a straight line method and all the other methods instead of the reducing balance method then the salvage value so there is no formula in accounting which calculates the depreciation on salvage value because the salvage value is left over after the end of the total useful life therefore it is not depreciated so we will not apply the formula on this then the right answer is c book value as we have already studied in our lecture the cost minus accumulated depreciation and multiply by rate which is given in the question on number five accumulated depreciation is deducted from the cost of the fixed asset n a balance sheet b income statement so let's move forward to the answer. Hope you guys have understood the what should be the answer. So the right answer is balance sheet. Because in income statement, we got to know about the profit and loss of the company during the year. So the income statement always shows revenue and the expenses. But the balance sheet carries assets, liabilities and equities. So the assets and its depreciation should be the part of balance sheet instead of income statement. So before starting this, let me tell you that a complete lecture about the capital expenditures and the revenue expenditures is given in the description. The link is given there. You can go there and watch the lecture. So let us move forward to this one. On number six, we have payment of salaries to the machine operator is an example of A capital expenditure and B revenue expenditure let's move forward and I'll tell you the why it is so and what should be the answer so the correct answer is revenue expenditure why it is so because the capital expenditure means those expenditures which increases the efficiency or the life of the asset or which is added a value into the asset for example if I incur any expenditure which increases the life of my building or for enhancing the building so that should be the part of the building cost as it is a capital expenditure and it is increasing the life or efficiency of the asset therefore the revenue expenditure is the payment of salaries to the machine operator because it is not increasing the efficiency of the machine and it is not increasing the life of the asset so on number seven, depreciable cost plus salvage value is equal to A, book value, B, cost value, C, market value, and D, scrap value. Scrap value is another name of salvage value. So it may be an easy one for you because you have studied it before in our MCQs. So let us move forward to the answer. So the right answer is cost value because we have already discussed it that cost minus salvage value is equal to depreciable cost and when you'll add up the salvage value again into the depreciable cost so this shall be the cost value of an asset then on number eight consider the following data quarterly depreciation expense is ten thousand then cost of fixed asset is four hundred and thirty thousand then residual value is one hundred and ninety thousand the useful life of the asset is a 4 
B six, C seven, and D five. So let me explain this: that if the depreciation expense on quarterly basis is ten, then it should be forty for the whole year. Then, if you m deduct the residual value from the cost, then you'll get two forty. Now, by dividing this two forty by 40,000 of the depreciation expense you will get the answer and the right answer is 6 you can calculate it on your own that by deducting 190 from 430 you will get 240 and by dividing that 240 with 40,000 annual depreciation you will get the correct answer and the correct answer is 6 you may find it easier than the above ones. On number nine, we have fixed asset account, always keeps debit balance, B, credit balance, and C, zero balance. Let us move towards the answer. So it is that easier that the right answer is debit balance because we all know that asset always have a debit balance whenever it increases and whatever element is being increased at what whichever side debit or credit that is the normal side of that account or element on number 10 under the sum of year digit method of depreciation sum of the year digits can be calculated by which one of the following formula a n plus 1 divided by 2 n plus 2 divided by 2 n then bracket open and plus one bracket closed divided by two so you have five seconds to think about this and I'll let you know what the right answer is so the correct answer is C and bracket open and plus one bracket closed divided by two you can come to know about the whole formula plus the treatments and the question by clicking the link in the description 11 which of the following is a reason for depreciation a physical wear and tear b obsolescence and then c both of the above you have got five seconds and then i'll tell you the what is the right answer of this so the right answer is both of the above c why is so because the depreciation definition says that depreciation is caused due to the physical wear and tear of the fixed assets and if you're obsoleting that asset from your books you have to calculate the depreciation so far the asset is being depreciated in the books so the answer is both of these on number 12 we have how trial balance shows the accumulated depreciation a as a debit item b as a credit item c both of these so if anyone knows about what is asset and where it is being uh, recorded so he can come to know that what is this what should be the side of its contra so let us move forward to the answer so the right answer is as a credit item why is so because the asset is being decorded on the debit side and the accumulated depreciation is the contra of the asset therefore it should be recorded on the credit side on the opposite side of an asset then we are allowed to depreciate or we are allowed to deduct it from the cost of asset which is written on the debit side on number 13, the asset is never fully depreciated under equal installments method, means a straight line method, B, sinking fund method, C, diminishing or reducing or declining balance method. So what should be the answer? Think about it and I'll let you know about the answer. So the right answer is diminishing balance method. Why is so? Because we do not deduct salvage value from the cost at the start of the question therefore when we reach at the end of the total useful life of an, of an asset so we have a salvage value at the end of total useful life therefore 
the leftover is salvage value and because of non-deduction of it at the start it is left over at the end and the asset is not fully depreciated so on number 14 we have which of the following is the main object of providing depreciation a to reduce tax b to calculate to true profit c to show true financial position let me repeat all these options again to reduce tax to calculate true profit to show the true financial position let us move forward to the answer so the right answer is to calculate the true profit because the company has to deduct all the expenses which were incurred during the year so to show the true profit to calculate the true profit you got to deduct the depreciation expense which is also known as expense in the view of accounting on number 15 we have a last mcq and let me re let me read this out depletion method is suitable for a land b mines c office equipment let me repeat this again depletion matter is suitable for a land b mines c office equipment let us move forward to the answer so the right answer is mines why land and office equipment are not included because these both are fixed assets and fixed tangible assets and we apply depreciation on fixed tangible assets Amortization is applied on intangible assets and depletion is applied on natural resources. Therefore, we will correct the second option, mines. So this was all for today's lecture and I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, just click the notification bell and turn on the notification so that you may not miss any other video of our channel. So that was all. Thank you for watching.